Yo, what's up? Real Homies 1 and 0 is back at it, and we are on episode number 27. Today is going to be all about the aging experience, so stay tuned. Turn it up, game time. Real Homies. Real Real homies wanna know. Real homies wanna know. Real homies wanna know. Real homies wanna know. Alright, so y'all, today we're gonna be talking about three things to keep in mind about the aging experience. So let's get to it. <laughs> now, first off, you might be asking me, girl, what is the aging experience? What does that even mean? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> I define the aging experience as things that we encounter as we continue getting older. And I use the aging experience, that term, a lot in my sitting up in my room videos or just talking in general because that is how I view aging as a whole experience where we're going through different challenges, different gains, losses, lessons all of that stuff right that all has a role in the way we age and one of the things that I love about the aging experience is we get to make it our own so you get to do what's best for you what works well for you you get to learn things and unlearn things and make decisions on what you're gonna do and not gonna do because it's your aging experience and yes there are some things that come about that we don't have any control over but what I'm really trying to say is as we continue aging we don't have to give in to what people tell us we should and should not be doing we get to make a decision on what someone you know suggests that we do or tells us to do we get to decide huh do I want to apply that to my life or not? And that's what I love most about it. <laughs> so that is the aging experience. Now, there are three things that I do think we should keep in mind about the aging experience. And the first thing is that our views on aging affect our experience. So a lot of people have mixed views when it comes to aging. Some people are very positive about it, very optimistic, right? When there are others who are complete opposite. And that's okay. Um, but I do want to mention that the way we see aging, it can have an effect on us. So uh, a term that I've mentioned before is ageism. And that is defined as prejudice or discrimination towards an individual or people on the basis of, you know, that person's age. And a lot of times it deals with stereotypes and myths that we give into about aging or about people who are older than us or younger than us. And there have been studies that show that ageist language and thoughts and even treatment can affect a person's aging experience. So it's so important that we're mindful of those views and really taking into account like, is this good that I'm thinking like this? Like, what is the effect that it's having on me? Even if you're not doing it internally, but you're doing it towards someone else, it can still affect you in some kind of way. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> Number two, you cannot fight your way out of aging. Now, there are so many commercials and companies that are producing these commercials about products that say, hey, you can fight aging and oh, you know what? You can reverse aging. No, you cannot. Aging is a process that the only way we can stop it is if we die. And I know you ain't trying to die, right? So it's not something that you can fight. Now, there are things that you could do to enhance the experience. And whatever those things are that you feel like, hey, I want to take part in, 
then you do that. But there's not a way to actually stop the process or reverse it. Number three, we really got to be mindful of othering. Now, othering is one of those things where we kind of categorize people, right? So we might talk about people who are older than us and go, oh, yeah, they are just aging. And you know how them aging people go or, oh, my aging parents. When we do that, we talk about it as if we're not aging as well. And we kind of like take ourselves out of the equation and look at it as it's just something that's happening to specific people, but no, not us. And then also with othering, we might exclude individuals because of, you know, categorizing them. So we really want to be mindful of that because that can have an effect on our aging experience and the experiences of others. So y'all, those are my three things. I really wanted to go in depth in depth, but that would have made the video too long. But I'll definitely touch on these a little bit more um, when I see fit. <laughs> uh, but those were three things that I really want us to keep in mind about our aging experience. And I really want to challenge you. Sit down and think about what are some of the things you've said or what are some of the feelings you've had about aging? Are there is there anything that you may need to change? Is there anything that you feel you need to unlearn or learn more about? So y'all, that is all I have for you. Um, I'll be back with another video at some point in life. But in the meantime, in between time, you be blessed and thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Turn it up, gang time.